Hello and welcome back. Here's my eyeballs. It's a little bright out today. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, also, welcome back to us, I would say. Um, if you weren't aware, we just got back from a 10 day road trip on Saturday, September 12th. Um, we left on the 2nd. And today is Wednesday the 16th. We will be putting together some videos of what we saw and did while we were gone. But just to quickly tell you, we went to South Dakota. We saw the Badlands um, and the Black Hills area. So uh, Custer State Park, Black Hills National Forest, Iron Mountain Roadway. Uh, we saw Mount Rushmore. Um, and then we went to Wyoming and saw experienced the Bighorn Mountains and did a bunch of stuff there. Took some video. Andy and I need to compile our videos and um, so that might take a little bit of time because he's now on Android and I am on um, Apple still. So it's going to take a little bit of time to try and get that together. Um, I do apologize for the wind, nature, you know, youngest is taking a nap in Anyway, my oldest daughter and I are going to go to the garden and see if there's any squash or melons that we need to harvest. Um, specifically the squash. Um, I know that there was a bunch that was ready um, to put into storage for um, consuming over the winter. Uh, I don't have an update on the church garden. We went there the other day and we're just in a time crunch with uh, daylight since daylight is getting shorter but we, in the beginning of the video you will have seen all the tomatoes from there and uh, the garden at my dad and stepmom's home and a bunch of peppers that we harvested what you didn't see were all of the jalapenos and I think they were the garden salsa peppers that we harvested, um, which you will have seen uh, in the candy jars because I canned them. Maybe I'll throw in what our storage room looks like. Andy built me shelves a while ago, well, before we left for our trip. He built me some storage shelves so I can have all my candy stuff off the floor and boxes from in boxes, which they had been in. But let's go see how the bonus garden is doing uh, while the littlest takes her nap and we're gonna harvest them. Okay, so first we're gonna start over here at the spaghetti squash. So we have spaghetti squash, watermelon, butternut squash, cantaloupe, melon, or orange melon, orange honeydew. Everybody calls it something different apparently. And then we have acorn squash over there. Those aren't doing so great. These are doing phenomenal. And I know this is where I'm gonna have the most to harvest. The great thing about um, spaghetti squash and butternut squash is it actually will <clears throat> overwinter really well. Yep, so we got one there to harvest. And they'll finish curing on the shelf if they're not fully there. Another one there, another one there. And then I see maybe one over there to harvest. But then we still have one, two, three, four or five left. And I already have five inside. All right, so she already took one up and there's three more there. And I counted six or seven still. That's awesome. So we have a watermelon here and these are the Charleston gray. They're not ready yet because the stem isn't dry, but listen, you hear that? They're gonna be pretty good. Let's check this other one. I did accidentally harvest one early, 
because I thought it was ready. Those are gonna be nice and big. Let's come back to the butternut. Um, here are the cantalopes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left here. Oh, wait, nine. There's nine. Um, Andy actually had harvest, took one off because it was splitting here at the end. Um, and the way to know if cantaloupe are ready is they start splitting or separating from the from the vine. These are almost, yep, this one's ready. See, they just kind of peeled off. So that's, that's awesome. We'll have this one later today or maybe for lunch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's really not ready. Where is that one? Let's check this one over here. And nope, that one's still very green, if you can see it. So let's check the acorn squash. They're not ready yet. They still have to turn a little bit. But those were actually soft the other day. Yeah, we... yeah no, they're not ready yet. A bunch of butternut squash that are ready. So let's go ahead and harvest those. Do you want to film me? take this one off because it's bad. Mm -hmm. All of our butternut squash while we're on. The deer ate it. I don't think we're gonna have much time left though because it's starting to rot from the from the vine. So while I am on my way back to the house, I will let you know what I have can and froze, and then I will show you the Storeroom. So yesterday I did hot sauce and what else? Oh, I did some jalapeno uh, jelly for around the holidays and for get togethers to put over cream cheese with crackers. Really super simple and easy thing to bring for entertaining. And the day before, I did a bunch of applesauce and I also did apple butter for um, throughout the winter just to have. I really like apple butter on my pancakes and waffles instead of syrup. Uh, that way we have just some in storage in case there's not much fruit or it gets to be really expensive. They were off of my mom's apple tree and let's see what else have I done. Oh, I did green beans yesterday uh, from my dad and stepmom's home. They had lazy housewife pole beans. They are fantastic. By the way, they taste fantastic. Uh, and then we had a bunch of beans, the Bush Lake Bush beans, Blue Lake Bush beans that were at the garden. I think I got four or five quarts worth of beans, which was pretty awesome. And then we had some with supper that didn't quite fill a whole quart last night. Uh, and then I froze five quart bags of broccoli. I just blanched it and then froze it. And I think that's, that's kind of what I've been up to. It's just, it's been a little bit of work and that's okay because we'll have it in the house for the winter. Stuff that we grew and knew how it was raised. So I will... 
Um, I'll show you the storeroom here at the end, but I hope that you kind of just enjoyed this update video and we'll see you around in the next one.